triangles that are right triangles, because of the 90, that have a 30 and 60 degree acute angle. So, we're going to take a look at this drawing right here. This is a right angle. You can tell from the little box here. This is a 30 degree and this is the 60 degree angle. To find what these are, A, B, or the hypotenuse, you would use this formula. To find B, you would have the hypotenuse divided by 2 multiplied by the square root of 3. A would be the hypotenuse divided by 2. And then, of course, we've got the hypotenuse. So, let's see what our rule is here. When the acute angles in a right triangle are 30 and 60 degrees, the length of the leg opposite the 30 degree angle, this is the leg opposite the 30 degree angle down here, because there's the 30. So, this length opposite the 30 degree angle is equal to half of the hypotenuse. And you go A equals hypotenuse divided by 2. Okay? The length of the leg opposite the 60 degree angle, it's this one right here. This is the one opposite, because the, there's 60. This is the leg opposite the 60 degree angle. It's equal to half the hypotenuse multiplied by the square root of 3. So you'd say B is equal to the hypotenuse divided by 2 times the square root of 3. And this side is also equal to the side opposite the 30 degree angle if you multiply it by the square root of 3. So, so, Let's see, if we wanted to find the length of one of the sides, this is what we could do. Let's say this is our 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, and our hypotenuse is 10. Well, if hypotenuse is 10, A is equal to the hypotenuse divided by 2, which means A is equal to 5. If the hypotenuse is 10, and we're trying to find B, B is equal to 10 divided by 2, and then we have to multiply it by the square root of 3. Well, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and the square root of 3 is approximately 1.73, and I'm going to show you that in a second. If you multiply 5 times 1.73, because this is an approximation of the square root of 3, we have to use the approximate sign. So 5 times the square root of 3 is approximately 8.65. Now, let me show you this. The square root of 3 is actually 1.732050807568888. Now, you really don't want to multiply the side by that. So, what is acceptable is you use 1.73, which is rounding it to the hundredths place, for the square root of 3, but you must remember to use the approximate sign. If you use the equal sign, you will be wrong because this is a rounded number. It would be a complete different number if you plugged all of those in, and it would be kind of silly for you to do that to every single math problem. Approximate and 1.73 is very acceptable. So that is how you can find the side of a 30 or 60 degree opposite side, and I hope I helped. Remember this rule, I would write that down, and I would make a note of how to find the sides. And our next video is going to be the 45, 45, 90 degree angles in the triangles.